So then this is basically going to be the walkthrough of my uh, brand new Minecraft adventure map I have been um, yeah, building and uh, yeah, doing over the uh, past month or the past weeks, um, better to say. So here we got uh, this uh, nice little website uh, which you can find on uh, drillercbs.com slash backrooms and this is how you can download it it's the only safe source at the moment so if you see it on uh, planet minecraft it will automatically take you to this page don't download it from, from any media file or anything like that source because these might be viruses only do downloaded directly from my website that way uh, you also get the uh, best version because uh, this is only the version I will be updating if anything was going to change if there's a bug somewhere that someone finds and I'll just um, update this one. So if we uh, scroll down, so this is obviously the download link. Um, uh, how to play, uh, check your clock, uh, check your clock at least once every one and a half minutes, otherwise you will start hallucinating. Uh, avoid beings, giant faces are known to exist in this level. Don't look directly at them uh, and spam your spacebar while holding down W and Control in order to get away from them if they are locked onto you. And you need to collect for, uh, seven birch buttons. Um, right, so I guess let us go ahead and um, join this map. It has a texture pack installed, so um, well, the, the, the texture pack automatically installs itself. So, um, yeah, as you can see, there's custom things in there, like emergency exit signs and fire alarms. Uh, please don't hit those, because um, they'll despawn, basically. Now, uh, here we are. Let's go ahead and click this button. Oops. I can't believe it's so late again. Let's just get my key and clock out. Yeah, this is basically my job now. So here we've got some really freaky looking faces. Um, can't do anything right here at the moment. So uh, we got to find the key. So um, as you can see here, some useless paper that we don't need. But the key's actually in here. So let's get it. And the door is opening. Now, Let's, oops, we no clipped out of reality. Oops, oops, oops. Um, basically tells you how to play and what to set your settings to. Uh, Optifine is currently required for it because it uh, it's basically adding a game mechanic uh, being that you can uh, have portable light, which is not working with another Minecraft, so you would need Optifine to, have, uh, to be installed on your Minecraft 1.13. But it shouldn't be too hard, though. So, um, now we are in here and we can already hear this hum. So, you need to get rid of the hum. You just need to place your uh, your blue item right here, and it permanently disables it. Then you need to uh, check your clock, and you can't really move while you can't move at all while holding the clock. Um, so uh, you can see it says in the chat that you reset the clock. So yeah, that's basically what it does. Um, I guess we should start uh, figuring out where the buttons are. Because um, I kind of don't really know myself. Um, I did these too long ago for me to remember. And I've got a very bad memory, so... Um, yeah, please don't, please don't judge me on this. Um... Obviously, exit signs uh, are a complete lie. They always take you to the wrong spot, so don't follow them. Nothing around here. Oh my goodness! 
Now you need, you need to space, uh, space, uh, oh dear, my pose is going so up, even though I made this game myself. <gasps> shit, 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 please, please leave me alone. You just need to space, uh, you need to sp uh, spam space, shit, in order to get away from them, because they are so fast. Like, literally, there's the, the only option you have is basically sp um, spam space. Um, because you can't really jump with space, but it will boost you a little bit if you, um, if you spam space, so that will get you away from these creatures. Um, let's just make sure there's no switch around here or no button. These are pretty hard to find because they have got almost the same, uh, they almost look like the same, uh, like, like the, uh, wallpaper. So, uh, let's just hope we don't bump into this disgusting face again. As far as I'm concerned, I've placed four of these creatures um, around the map, so um, you know it's like a hundred percent chance you'll bump into one of them. And they've got a pretty high detection rate, so they all walk uh, towards you as soon as they are near, They're like within a radius of like twenty-seven, uh, no, seventy blocks or so. So it's pretty hard, I guess. Um, if they hurt you enough. Now I forgot the clock, so uh, you can see I started hallucinating. Basically, hallucinations at the moment are just nausea and uh, blindness. So you need to click the clock again, and it, and it removes it for one and a half minutes. So make sure um, you do this uh, regularly, so it doesn't keep happening. Um, right. Um, I just want these buttons really. But I just saw something there. Um, oh dear, where are those buttons gone? I know one of these buttons is around here, but I don't really know how to get into this area. Because right here the ceiling is a little bit uh, lower, so that's the only part where the ceiling is lower. So I assume it's around here. Should be around here. Yep, they've got the first button. I found a button. Um, Probably Mr. Face or Mrs. Face is around here. And I really don't want to meet them again, let me tell you that. Um, so make sure you avoid them at all costs, basically. Because um, they're going to chase you sometimes around the entire map. If you don't manage to uh, escape them. Um, why is all my buttons gone? Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, I am out. Silly. Oh my god! Uh, that was really scary. Um. I just hope we don't bump into them again. Oh no, we turn insane. Um, so I guess that's basically how the game works. You gotta find those switches. Um, 
some of them are like really hard and as soon as you get like four switches or so you have a possibility of finding a torch and as soon as you find the torch you're able to um you're basically able to get to uh to dark areas because there's some dark areas in here which you cannot um see uh, which you cannot see in uh, if you don't have a uh, um, if you don't have a torch. So obviously you can't get the switches in the dark areas. So, oh my god! Ah shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Hell no! Let's get out of here. Oh dear. So I guess that's basically it. Uh, just a little um, demonstration of the uh, functionality of this game, how it works. Um, yeah, I guess download it if you want to and uh, give me a diamond on planet Minecraft. And until then, have a nice one. Bye.